Welcome back to the channel. In this one, I'm going to quickly show you how to install non-Steam launchers onto your Steam Deck. Now, this is a great little installer that's currently up on GitHub. Definitely worth using it, especially if you just freshly rebuilt your Steam Deck like I have. Now, I have installed some games from, um, from the Steam App Store, but I've also created a couple of collections here. I've got some uh, Epic Games installed, one from GOG. Um, I've got a number of launchers in here, but I haven't installed... Any games from, say, I think Ubisoft. I've got a couple of games there I'd like to download. Amazon games, perhaps. So it's actually quite an easy process. Get your Steam Deck. Click on the Start menu. Go to Power. And switch to Desktop mode. This will take a little second. Now, you might find this easier if you set up a mouse. But um, what I'm going to show you now is, once it's up and running, we're going to just fire up a browser. And in there, you just want to search. You can press the Steam button and X, which will bring your keyboard up, and just type non-Steam launcher. There you go, there it's there already. Okay. So that's it there. Non-Steam launcher. So click on that. And in here, all you have to do is scroll down. Now you can read through all that if you wish, but... The main meat is you need to download this. So right click on there, or click on there and give it the option to download. It should download your launcher up there. And, uh, and then browse that folder when you're done. Now what you need to do next is you need to go to the location of that file. And as you see there, it says .download. Now I've read that you're meant to delete out the .download, but basically rename it, but that's your document there file there. Now, if you double click on that, it'll load up automatically and you get this little interface. It's not, it's not the most beautiful interface, but it's actually pretty easy to navigate. Now, you have a little box for every one of the launchers you may wish to add. So, you add the launchers that you want and um, from there, you can install your games. So, add some launchers. We've already got some here. Let me just put something like Netflix and we'll tell that to we'll say OK. And away it'll go. We don't have any custom URLs, so now it'll go and detect and update the installation of GE Proton. So I'll put the latest version on. Might take a few minutes. And um, within that same app, you can then get to scan and add your apps automatically into the, the gaming mode. And I'll show you that as well at the end here. So we'll cut back to this just finishing this installation. And here we have it. Once it's done, it'll just do a little uh, shutting down Steam and bring it back up. So there we have it. That's that, that's that loaded that back up. Now, if I was to come out of desktop mode and go back to gaming mode, now what we will see on, on my Steam Deck is we'll see extra icons, and I'll show you how to get rid of them. We'll also see that the, um, the icon will just be a generic grey icon. Okay, so go to your library, and if you go along to non-Steam games, You'll now see, well, there's the icons I was telling you about. So I've already got my Amazon games set up, but it's added them again. Now, to get rid of those, just um, press the menu button up here, go to Manage, and hide this game. It's not installing it again, it's just another copy of the icon, and it doesn't go away until you go out and back in. And a few seconds later, I think. Anyway, well, let's go down to the, um, the Netflix icon that we added. So first things first, we go in here. We can change the artwork. <coughs> So change the artwork, that'll go away and scan for some relevant icons. You pick the one you like, I'm going to pick the one with the big red N. Yeah, that'll do me. Okay, now we come out of there. And at the bottom here we should have our big red N. And you click into that, click play. And your app should install. There you go, it should be running. So now you can watch Netflix on there. Now, what I want to do... I'll give it a second. This you may need to set change your, your icon on this as well. So if you've got in here, you'll change your artwork. There's different bits of artwork, and there's the wide capsule as well for when you're back at the desktop. We'll just pick any old one for that. Your hero one, any old one that'll do. Logo, 
that one. There you go. I could as well. Why not? Okay. And then it wants to restart to apply those changes. Now we'll do that later. So what I'm going to do now <coughs> is I'm going to install a game from, let's um, say, Amazon Games. Why not? So let's fire up the Amazon Games launcher. Now, some of these launchers, once they're put up in um, game mode, they need to do a bit more configuring. Now, I've not, I've not actually loaded this up yet, so we'll see what it does just now. Yeah, it's going to prepare and pull down some more files in the background. So just be aware that's going to appear in that, that block of files that, you know, it's like unknown or other when you're looking at your um, storage. But this launcher's quite a small one, so it's fine. And then I can see all the games that I've added in my, in my um, previously. Now, it's not going to be scrollable screen. You're, you're using your right stick as a mouse, or your right pad as a mouse. Uh, what we'll do is we'll pick a game from there. I'm not sure what we'll pick. Let's have a look. So, yeah. Some of these, like I say, some of these um, launchers aren't the greatest. You can get by, but they're a bit tricky. There you go, see. So let's find a, a smallish game. I'll tell you what, how about Star Wars The Force Unleashed? Because I tried to install this previously manually and I, and I could not get it working. So this is the original. Let's click install here and see see how we get on. Now, once it's installed on C drive, that, that'll be the uh, internal storage. I've not looked at changing that to anywhere else. So yeah, once the default to C. So if I was to change that to D drive Amazon games, it should create that folder. Uh, let's just proceed. Yeah, so there you go, it's installing. Okay, so here we are, the game is now installed. Let's click play and see if it runs from here. Now I have to do a first time set up. Some games just seem to work, some need a little bit more setting up. Now obviously, going forward, you don't want to have to load up the app store to then run your game. So there is a way to add those games to your Steam Deck. And that is using the, the non-Steam Launcher app which will add the app icons. So here we are, it's now loading up. Now I don't know if this will actually work. The problem I had before was, I couldn't actually get to go beyond this point previously. But let's just try it. Because if this game loads, then that, that's brilliant, it's a solution. Because before, when I manually installed this, there was some sort of dependency, file dependencies that I just couldn't get to the bottom of, and I couldn't get the game to load. This looks like it's gonna work. Fantastic, be looking forward to playing this game. And it's running like a dream. In fact, yeah, it was, it was the resolution wouldn't set properly. So we can come out of this just now. Let's just quit out of this. So what I'll do is I'll show you now. As you can see, it's got a bit wonky there, but don't, don't worry about that. It'll come back to life. Uh, we're going to just um, exit this just now. Exit this as well. Oops. Okay, so that's the Amazon Games Launcher. Now, if I go back to my installed games, we're not going to see it in there because it's not a Steam game. But we should be able to see it in non-Steam games. Now, as you'll see, we scroll down here. We won't see the game because it's not there. So what we have to go is, once you've installed the games you want to put on, go back to desktop mode again. Again, you just load up the uh, non-Steam Launcher app. And um, once this is loaded, there's an option at the bottom to find games. So if you click find games, it'll quickly scan through. It'll fire up boiler. Now you can click on all these different launchers if you want. Uh, just be aware that if you um, already have installed some Epic games and you install them again, say for example, it will... Um, Duplicate your icons. I can't see anything. I can't see it in there, the Amazon one, but let's just uh, click this button here. So there you go. Done. Important games. So now we go back to gaming mode again. Another little restart. 
And again, if we go to library and then and on Steam games, so actually we're just looking there just now. So we should hopefully see a big grey icon for it when we see it. And oh, actually, it's added the um, artwork automatically. Now, we'll do that sometimes. Normally, it's grey, but it's added at that time. And what you can do now is you can add that to a collection if you want. So you can say, um, hey, add to any one of these collections, create a new collection. That just helps you keep track. So I'm going to create a new collection and we'll call that Amazon. Oh. Okay, and now we have the one of the collections when we've got an Amazon collection. And there you have it. So hopefully that's been of use to you. Uh, stick around, I'll put a video up in the corner. You can watch something else if you like. And thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.